Hi Church, I'm Jennifer Alessio, the children's pastor here at Heights Church, and I just wanted to thank you for joining me for today's devotional. And our thread this week is the promises of God. And today I'm going to be talking to you about wisdom. And I have a scripture that I like to read to you from James, chapter 1, verses 5 through 6. And it says, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God and he will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking, but when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver, for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. So if we need wisdom, which I don't know about you, but I'm needing a lot of wisdom these days, all we have to do is ask our generous and faithful and good and loving God is ready and waiting and able to give it to us. But this next part is really, really, really important. And this is what it says in six, verse six. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in God alone. Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind. So we need to be loyal to God. And what that means is we need to decide ahead of time that his way is best and that no matter what he tells us, we are going to be ready to do what he says. Because if we don't, if we think that God's wisdom is just like advice we get from a friend or another human being that we can choose whether to follow or whether not to follow, then, you know, we're just going to be tossed in back and forth like the wind. We are not going to be settled. We're not going to be grounded in the same way that we will be when we follow God's way and when we are loyal to him and when we love him enough to be obedient. So when we ask him for wisdom, we have to decide in our hearts ahead of time that we're going to be ready and willing to do what he says, even if we don't like it, even if it's hard, and even if it is very uncomfortable, which sometimes it is. Sometimes it is. That's just, you know, Jesus told us that in this world, we're going to have trouble. And as long as we're here on this earth, before he comes back and, and renews it, we will have trouble while we're here. But when we do things God's way, we're going to have less trouble. When we do things God's way and we follow his wisdom, we can have the peace and the grounding knowing that um, that he is with us and that we are doing life in the way that he intends us to do it. So I have a story I wanted to tell you um, about, I would say several years ago, um, I was working, um, I was doing a job that I felt really called to, that I felt like God had called me there. But as soon as I started working there within a month or two, it became clear that it really just wasn't a good fit, fit for myself or my family. Um, but I felt God had called me there, and so I was really determined to stay um, until another opportunity came. And I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure. Um, this new opportunity seemed like it was a much better fit, that it would be better for not only myself, but my entire family. But I wanted to make sure that I was following God's will for myself and my family. And so I prayed. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to hear God right away, and it's because I was so caught up in listening to my emotions, my fears, and my anxiety. And so I had to deal with that first. And I remembered what the Apostle Paul tells us in Philippians 4, verses 6 through 7, that when we're feeling anxious or worried, we need to talk to God about it, to tell him all those things. And then we need to receive the peace that he has for us. And so once I had done that, I was calm and, and I was able to hear him. And so I felt like he told me that I should take this new position, but I really wanted to be sure. And so I asked him to give me confirmation. And so friends, I would just encourage you to do that because if you ask God to give you confirmation of what he is telling you to do, he is faithful, he will do it. And so God was so good to me and he confirmed um, to take the new position, this new job, in many people in my life. And so he made it very, very clear that this was the way to go. And I did do it. Um, when I resigned the, the prior position, it was hard. It was not comfortable. It was not easy to do at all. But as soon as it was done, I was so relieved and um, I was so pleased to be in this new job. So friends, my challenge for you is this. 
the next time you need wisdom, which if you're like me, you probably already do need wisdom today, or it's gonna, uh, the situation's about to come up shortly, I encourage you to pray and ask God to give it to you because he is our generous God and he is faithful to answer that. But I also encourage you, if you feel like I am just so emotional, I'm anxious, I'm fearful, deal with your emotions first. God, God understands, he knows how we're formed, he knows that we're humans and that we're emotional beings. We're not just, um, we're not just robots that make yes and no decisions. So talk to him about how you're feeling and deal with that with him and process with him so that you can receive that peace and be in a really good state to hear what he has to say to you. And then once you hear, I encourage you to decide that you're going to follow what he has to say, that you're not going to be like the wave that's tossed back and forth, that you're going to be grounded in God's wisdom and his truth because you've decided ahead of time that his way is right. And so friends, I just wanted to thank you so much for joining me today for this devotional and let me pray for you. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for everybody who's watching God. I pray that um, God, you would be with those of us who need wisdom and God, we need wisdom now more than ever. I pray that we would decide ahead of time that your way is best. In Jesus name I pray, amen.